Another home near Montreal has been found to contain restrictions refusing sale to Jewish people. The realtor that found the clause wants that changed, but as Andrew Brennan reports, it's not so simple. There's a dark secret hidden on this pristine lakeside in the town of Lerie, south of Montreal. A legal covenant attached to one of the homes dating back to 1918 bars the sale to anyone who is of Jewish origin. It's terrible. It's gross. It's, and it's not something that we can just sort of brush under the rug. Real estate broker Anne-Marie Ashcroft discovered the servitude when she was preparing the home to be sold a few weeks ago. What's more, after consulting with a notary, she says she found it wasn't something that could easily be removed from a new deed of sale or certificate of location. In order to have it completely struck, the sellers would have to bring the matter to court. So they would have to undertake the expense and the stress of doing something like that, um, which is obviously... Ridiculous. This is the second time in as many months a home near Montreal has been found to contain a clause barring its sale to Jewish people. But speaking to legal minds, this is something that's been seen and heard about going back decades. In January, it came to light a farmer in Saint-Jean-sur-Richelieu had included a condition refusing sale to Jewish people when he subdivided his land into hundreds of lots about 60 years ago. While these servitudes are not legally enforceable, the one in Saint-Jean-sur-Richelieu had to be overturned by the Superior Court of Quebec. Any lawyer who practiced uh, in the 70s would tell you, uh, sure, they existed. I think what it demonstrates for us there is a real anti-Semitism. There is a real uh, hatred out there. And some people even have the, the temerity of putting that down on paper. In a statement, a spokesperson for Quebec's justice minister says such clauses should not exist in our society. As a judge of the Superior Court recently said, they are discriminatory and completely illegal. We strongly encourage owners to have these clauses invalidated in court or waived during the sale. According to the Chamber of Notaries of Quebec, each case is different. You can't really rely on, on a decision in one circumstance to apply it exactly to another one. Um, I, in that circumstance, if there's a question that pops up where the charter might be involved, the notary will probably refer the, uh, the clients to a judge. Ashcroft wants something more to be done. We actually need a law in place that empowers notaries, that empowers surveyors to have the right to strike it out, but also they have an obligation to do so. And that's what I want to see. Something the Justice Minister's office says would require working with other ministries, including municipal affairs and housing, to figure out if it's even possible. Andrew Brennan. CTV News.